Weather Watch and a live look outside at Grand Park. Blue sky, sunshine. It sure wasn't warming us up, though. No, <laughs> very, very cold. And I think we're going to finally get out of this funk, Mary Kay, and get some temperatures that are more seasonal. Right. It's hard to break this, but you'll like the seven days, especially the tail end of it, because for now, we have Arctic air in place. Temperatures are running half of our normal daytime high. Well, our high today was better than yesterday's 12. We hit 21 this afternoon. Normally, 42 is where we should be. We'll get there. It's just going to take a couple of days. Here's what we expect. It'll be cold tonight again with a few flurries. The feels like temperature as low as 10 below. Then we're watching the storm track for a snow chance late Thursday afternoon into the night ending Friday morning. Most of this is going to fall south of Chicago, but then rain, thunder, wet and mild conditions coming our way for Saturday. For right now, we have a partly cloudy sky out there and our temperature is 18 degrees. But look at the winds west northwest gusting to 30 miles per hour, making it feel very cold out there. Winds are gusting to 36 miles per hour in Morris, 35 Aurora, 37 mile per hour gust now in McHenry. So it's feeling like one below there feels like zero. Aurora DeKalb feels like one in Morris and in Ottawa. So those northwesterly winds are interacting with some low level moisture. So that could touch off a flurry early this evening between about now and seven. Otherwise, our skies will clear out late tonight. Nine will be the low temperature. West northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow, a day much like today, will have partly sunny skies with a late day flurry chance, a high of 28 though. So going up in the temperature department and then Thursday we're looking at that afternoon and evening snow chance. So when we look at the models here, here's 7 a.m. It's interesting to note the battle between dry high pressure to the north and low pressure trying to send some snow into the picture across Illinois. Well, with winds coming around this high, that's going to push in dry air. So right now it looks like the models are favoring areas south of I-80 to see that snow. And especially when you start going west into Sioux City or Des Moines, we could see about two to four inches of snow there. There. Closer to home, we could see maybe two tenths of an inch up to a half inch if it stayed on track. It really depends on how strong that dry air feed is from the north. But just know that Thursday night into Friday is a snow chance. Then on the weekend, a new system will line up and the warm air with it may touch off showers and thunderstorms late day Saturday into Saturday evening. And then on Sunday, the low will be sitting right overhead, pulling in some cooler air, mixing a little snow shower activity on the back side of that system, but not a huge crash in temperature. Let's remember too, this weekend, we spring forward. Daylight saving time begins at 2 a.m. on Sunday. Yes, you lose that hour of sleep, but the temperatures are going to be looking better. So rain and thunder on Saturday. Some of you will hit 50 if that rain holds off long enough till late in the day. Sunday, light rain, maybe a little sleet mixing in in the morning. 40 for a high. We're holding, barely holding those 40s early next week, but at least we put a few together for you, Robin Erica. Yes, it is so nice to see that. First stretch. Thank you, Mary Kay.